welcome back to my channel and if you haven't already definitely hit that subscribe button hit the like button and also hit that notification bell so you can see when my videos are coming out what I want to talk about today is Richard Sherman gets arrested now this is definitely a sensitive topic what I want to do is I want to show the video of when Richard Sherman tried to break into his in-laws house and then I give you my two cents after this video check this out Um, I, I, I need I need officers to my house now. My husband is drunk and blizzard threatening to kill himself. Stop, stop. I'm What's the address? Are there she any weapons? It. Stop. We, are there we any took, we took to no, me. there's no gun. I'm, I'm saying there are no weapons, ma'am. There are you no, there are no weapons. You need to stop interrupting me so I can get the information I need to get officers expedited. I need officers here now. What's he doing this, that you think he's going to harm he's, himself? He's being, he's, he's being aggressive. He has sent text messages. I took the I took the keys out. They're in your car. He's trying to leave now in the house. He's being aggressive. He's wrestling with my uncle. He's threatening to kill himself. He has sent text messages to people saying he's going to hang himself. He, And he's saying that if the police show up, that so please don't shoot is what I'm asking. Okay, wait. Say that again. He has no he says if the he police has, show he up. Said, he what? said if the police show up, that he'll try to fight them. So they okay. need to understand that he is. He is. Okay. L listen, just what's your phone number there? Okay. And has it been physical with anybody there? You said he's trying to fight yes, your uncle. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. How has it been physical? He just tried to fight him. Okay, trying to fight somebody and actually being yes, physical. Yes, he did. Two he did. All the way How down has to the it been physical? <laughs> He's pulling out now. He's trying to leave. He's a fucking okay, leaving in the Maybach. What kind of it's car? A, it's a 2016 now? black Mercedes BB B3425. Richard, please stop. Boy, boy. Hello. Hello. BB BB3425. Richard, please stop. Please stop. Is that a sedan SUV? It's, a, it's just a black sedan Mercedes SUV. Okay. He's not going to be able to get out the gate. I cut it off. What do you mean you cut it off? I cut the gate. We live behind it. It's, a, it's Richard Sherman. Like, ma'am, this is like a fucking emergency. I need officers okay, here now. Hey, listen to me. I'm handling this. You need to stop telling me that. I'll tell you, but what I'm not going to slow help down. He he talking to me is not going to slow help down. Okay. Well, what I need to know is that he What's your name? My name is Ashley Sherman. Do you know what his date of birth is? 33088. Okay, slow down so I can understand you. What's the date of birth? March 30th, 1988. Does anybody need the ambulance there? You said it was physical. No, we don't okay. need an ambulance. Okay. And he does not have any weapons or access to weapons? No. No. Okay, and how much has he had to drink tonight? Two bottles. Two bottles of what? Now, a vodka now. and Hennessy. Okay, hard alcohol. Just alcohol. He's intoxicated. Okay, sir. I'm only going to talk to one person, so please put the phone down well, and talk to Ashley. Look, okay, is, is, is the sheriff it, on the way? 
Okay, L listen, I, it's over on dispatch, okay? Talking to me is not going to slow anything else down. If someone fucking gets killed, bro, like... Okay, I'll let you off the line. The officers have the information. This is just a messy situation, and I pray for Sherman's family to get through this moment. Hopefully this is not a reoccurring situation. But first off, I want to talk about the dispatcher. How disrespectful is she? She was condescending, cutting the lady off. I did not like it one bit. She should not have done that. When someone is in crisis, you don't combat crisis with crisis. And so I don't understand the training that this lady had. It sounded like she didn't want to be there. My thing is, if you don't like your job, just quit. Get another job. From this story, first off, it was very scary to watch Richard Sherman bust through that door like that. Well, trying to bust through the door. And if you notice at the end of that video, the father-in-law sprayed mace outside of that window or pepper spray and that's when you notice Richard Sherman walking away now according to these police reports Maple Valley Police Department is about 30 miles south of Redford called Redford police to inform them that there was a suicide subject that was on the way now Maple Valley Police said they had been informed that Sherman had threatened to hang himself and had been drinking. Officers later informed Redford Police that Sherman was also threatening suicide by cop. So you remember when the girl, his wife basically said that, please don't shoot him. He's going to try to attack you. So maybe he was threatening for them to kill him, allegedly. And I pray this is not true, but yes, this is on the police report. Now, Sherman tried to grab a firearm from an officer before leaving Maple Valley and possibly traveling to Redford. As his wife separately traveled to her mother's home, Maple Valley police told Redford police this report. So this is very interesting to me. So and maybe you can help me out in these comments understand this. So apparently, they were in Maple Valley. Apparently, they were in Maple Valley. I'm assuming that's where Richard Sherman and his wife lives. And according to according to the audio, his wife tried to stop him from leaving because she says he locked the gate, but then he ended up getting out. And I guess he was on his way to the in-laws house. Very interesting situation here. Now, according to his reports, it sounds like Maple Valley police tried to intervene because he said they ch he tried to take one of their guns. So they just probably just let him go. That does not make sense to me. It says Sherman tried to grab a firearm from an officer before leaving Maple Valley and possibly traveling to refer. So it shows, It sounds like they didn't even try to apprehend him and stop him there. Interesting. So it said troopers with the Washington State Police then informed refer police that they had located Sherman's vehicle. He had crashed into a highway cement barrier and run away from the scene, official says. So Maple Valley police let him do all this stuff. This is very interesting. They let him get in the car drunk and they didn't stop him. He tried they tried to grab his gun allegedly. This is getting weird by the day. A short time later, Sherman's wife told dispatchers that he was acting crazy at the house according to the police report. So either the police report not writing a good report fraudulent or this was a this could have got ugly so his father-in-law Raymond Moss later told officers he was armed himself with a handgun and fired 
pepper spray so like I said I did see that pepper spray during that video and he said he feared for his life which I understand because when he was hitting that door he must have did something I wonder if his kids was in that house and he wanted his kids it was 1 30 in the morning I wonder that but we'll find out with more evidence so Moss told police Sherman's actions made him fearful for himself and his family. The police report says he adamantly requested charges be filed against Sherman. Now, Sherman's wife, Ashley Sherman, told police he is suffering from mental health issues. And you think? This is what I'm saying with these NFL players. These NFL players have been hitting their heads since they were five years old. And a lot of them have a CTE early some of their brains are uh, decrepit and deteriorating and, and built like a 70 year old man I watched a documentary recently about this where a lot of the NFL players are trying to get compensated from the NFL and these are players who are in their 30s and 40s and they're losing motor skills and cognitive abilities off because of this sport and then you have to look at the fact that Richard Sherman, he's declining as an athlete. You know, that is not a good pill to swallow when it comes to these athletes who were invincible for a while. You know, he don't have a team right now. I believe he is a free agent. And he never been home like this. I, and this is just my opinion. You know, he don't know how things are run at the house because the wife always handles everything. So... Maybe just bring him a drink and I don't know. Maybe he just had a drinking problem. Or maybe he just had so much pain that he's trying to mask his pain physically. Because a lot of these players are hurt every day. Body's not healing like it's supposed to. Who knows? But she added that when Richard has a mental health episode like this, he does not remember anything the next day. The police report said she had fled her home with her children after Sherman had caused a large disturbance earlier in the night. And she did not know how he found her at the parents' house, she said. Now this this article, I don't know, man. It's, it's kind of everywhere. I, I don't know what's really happening here, but all I do know is he's out right now and he won't be charged and the family's gonna try to work with him. Um, I pray for his family, but it just sounds a mess, and I don't believe the police or the dispatcher did their job like they were supposed to. This would could have been avoided. If this is true, I don't know about this police, man. You know, see, we, we need someone else handling these mental health issues and not the police. The police don't know how to handle it. They'll either know how to kill you or let you go. That's all they know. You know, their, their job is to protect themselves from harm and protect others from harm meaning the way I protect you is to shoot you that's what they're trained to do so in my opinion they need to have someone else handling these mental health issues like a crisis center that could come by with a bunch of guys and maybe restrain them or something but this is an issue because it's not going to be the last issue either because a lot of these NFL players these boxers um, that sacrifice their, their brains are going to have a lot more issues like this and you know Richard Sherman is a great guy allegedly you know, he did a lot of things for the community he speaks out for the week but something is really going on and I just pray that their family get it together what you think about this video tell me what your thoughts about Richard Sherman and how the police handled it do you think it was athlete privilege because there is a such thing as athlete privilege, no matter what color they are. No matter what LeBron says, that's not true. What he says is not true. LeBron lives the life since he was 19. And a lot of these athletes get to live that life as well. I remember um, Kwame Brown talking about it. You know, he didn't even have to wait in the surgery area or the waiting room when something was wrong when he was an athlete. He'd just go right in the back. But once you're done playing in that league, you're back to a civilian. So tell me what you think about this video. Leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next video.